what's up everyone it's your girl shay here and welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back to my channel if you've been here before and for this video as you can see it is time for another manga haul but this time it's not a physical manga haul it's a digital manga haul and i decided to do this video because this past weekend my dad actually had a gift card for the app store that he wasn't exactly using so i asked him if it was okay for me to have it and it was four hundred dollars so i figured why not use it to buy some manga and so far i spent about half of it and so let me show you guys what i bought and also what i plan to buy because i'm trying to be very strategic with how i use this gift card and just overall how i buy digital manga in general so let's see what i ended up purchasing so the first thing i ended up purchasing was the volumes five through eight of living room matsunaga san as many of you guys know i started reading this manga i have the first two volumes physically and then volumes three and four i decided to also purchase digitally and i plan as you can see to purchase the rest of the volumes digitally overall i think in total there's supposed to be 11 volumes but they're only up to volume eight right now I had to buy the next four volumes of this manga mostly because like I said I'm obsessed with it right now it like I don't know I'm enjoying it so much right now and just because of the fact I was like why not so yeah volumes five through eight of Matsunaga-san I ended up buying I also ended up buying the very first volume of Love Massage now I only bought the first volume of this one because I just want to test it out and see how it's going to be I also believe it is supposed to be the Thirsty Thursday um, manga for the month of May and it's actually a manga that I was kind of looking into a little bit but wasn't for sure on whether or not to pull the trigger and so I decided why not just get the first volume and I'm excited for the next Thirsty Thursday that is hosted by Mama Loves Manga and I believe also Shay Geeks Out I believe and also one other girl and I know that the other person is a guy by the name of Dylan I'm apologizing if I didn't say all your usernames correctly or in total but they do Thirsty Thursday and I definitely recommend checking them out when they do them but anyway that is the manga that was chosen for the month of May so I'm excited I cannot wait to read it I only bought the first volume like I said to see pretty much how it is and the next one that I ended up purchasing was Peach Girl Next, which is the sequel to Peach Girl. So I loved the Peach Girl anime. I love the Peach Girl manga. And I found out years ago that they were coming out with Peach Girl Next, which was the sequel, which takes place about 10 years after the previous Peach Girl took place, pretty much. But I had always tried to look for this manga and I never could find it anywhere. But then I realized or actually found out that it only came out digitally. So I found it on iBooks. They have all the volumes on there. I think there's about eight, seven or eight volumes in total. So I only bought the first one because I want to see how it is. And if I like it, then of course, just like with Love Massage and of course this one, I plan to keep up with it and buy them on like my paydays and stuff like that. So I'm really excited. Now there were some other mangas that I wanted to purchase but didn't and that's because like i said at the beginning i was trying to be very strategic on what manga i decided to buy so one of the mangas that i was looking into but didn't end up purchasing was tomi by junji ito i as many of you guys can see on my bookshelf i have uzumaki and i love it it's a horror manga and tomi is pretty much also a horror manga as well but my plan is to actually buy that closer to halloween because i always want to read something spooky around that time so i figured that would be a great choice Another thing that I was interested in reading or interested in buying is pretty much any manga on my shelf that I don't yet have completed and haven't yet finished. So the mangas that I'm looking forward to buying in the future is LDK, the remaining volumes that I currently do not have. So I have LDK physically volumes, I think like one through 10, I believe, but I didn't realize that it actually goes up to volume number 15. So I plan to in the future reread it up to where I have it and then just continue on so I can remember what exactly happened. So I think on Comixology they have volumes up to 12 I believe and then I will probably purchase the rest of them digitally. Also the next one is We Were There. I own a volumes like here on my shelf. I own up to volume 11 and I thought it stopped but I realized it didn't. It actually goes up to like volume like 15 I think 15 or 16. So once again just like with LDK I plan to reread it up to what I have and then buy them digitally. 
um, which is currently uh, what I'm doing with Skip Beat. So I own up to volume number 23 of Skip Beat, and then I plan to, after volume 23, start buying them digitally. And the very last one that I haven't uh, bought yet, but plan to buy in the future, is Dream and Sun. For a period of time, I did do manga reviews on Dream and Sun, and I own up to volume number 8, but they go up to volume number 10. But for some reason, I was never able to find volume 9 and 10 in like my local bookstore so i actually thought it had ended and i didn't know it had continued so plan to finish that up but just like with we were there and also with ldk i plan to read it up to volume 8 and then buy them digitally and of course i plan to most likely if i like love massage and peach girl next continue to keep up with that i'm just trying to make sure that my tbr doesn't get super long which is why i'm being so strategic with what manga i am currently buying and yeah so that is the digital manga that i purchased and that is the digital manga that i plan to buy in the future let me know what you guys think also let me know if you guys want me to do more hauls of like digital manga that i buy or maybe even like a digital manga bookshelf of all the manga that i currently have um i don't have a lot of manga digitally well wait actually i do have a little bit but um i'm still collecting manga digitally um many of you guys know i have no room on my bookshelf anymore really for any more physical copies of books my fiance is like you need to do something <laughs> and so i'm just buying them digitally and surprisingly when i told him how much i bought digitally he was like i can get behind that because of the fact that it's not on your bookshelf so <laughs> most likely mo more manga is going to be bought digitally um the only manga that i plan to buy still physically is supposed to be the sailor moon eternal edition of the manga because I really want to have those physically but yeah that's pretty much what I have for you guys let me know if you guys have bought any manga recently whether digitally or physically also please let me know if you guys have a strategic way of how you guys try to purchase manga um i know that a lot of people i see do like manga hauls and stuff like that and i'm super jealous because i want to do manga hauls like that so much but i know that i have to be very strategic with how i buy it so that i do not get overwhelmed or that so that no manga is like left behind or you know i forgotten about um so yeah i try to do it strategically but let me know how you guys do it also let me know if you guys want me to do like a video on like how I read my manga because I feel like I read it in a very interesting way sometimes I don't know maybe it's just me but I, probably not but yeah let me know what you guys think about that but yeah that's what I have for you guys today um as many of you guys know I have links below to my social media accounts I have an Instagram a Twitter a blog and a TikTok on my TikTok and on my Instagram I post like reels or little TikToks of like little mini reviews of manga I have finished or anime that I have finished since I don't really do reviews on this channel so much so please check me out on there and follow me if you like and of course i come with videos twice a week on wednesdays and saturdays so look forward to another saturday video coming up pretty soon and of course if you like my videos give them a thumbs up if you don't give them a thumbs down it lets me know really what you guys like and what you guys don't like and also please subscribe if you haven't already and yeah that's what i have for you guys you guys probably saw my cat's tail <laughs> coming around here she's now sitting on my lap um but yeah that's what i have for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video like i always tell you guys stay positive stay nerdy and in today's day and age stay healthy and of course please stay safe all right, you guys. Bye.